Elizabeth Colbert Bush, of course, famous for being Stephen Colbert's sister, let's keep it real, uh, but now is getting some acclaim on her own because she's running as uh, the Democratic nominee in the first district of South Carolina. And she's getting even more famous because she's running against someone else who's also famous, and that would be Mark Sanford. And of course, he was the former governor of South Carolina, and he was also a former congressman from South Carolina, but that's not why he's famous. He's famous because he went hiking on the Appalachian Trail, went missing for a great number of days when he was governor, and then they found him not on the Appalachian Trail, but on the trail of his mistress's ass in Argentina. So, uh, it turns out, he, by the way, he spent taxpayers' money to go have sex with his mistress, had to pay a $74,000 fine. So things are not going well for Mark Sanford, but he did win the Republican primary. So how's he doing against uh, Colbert Bush? Well, right now, uh, before the debate happened, uh, and they just had a debate, obviously, uh, 50 to 41, he is losing. So Colbert Bush already in good shape. In fact, when you look at the favorability poll, it's not even close, 56 to 38. Now, that's not necessarily what they vote on, but obviously he's far less popular than Elizabeth Colbert Bush. And uh, now, normally the Republican would be better funded and here he is, by, but only by a little bit. He's got $284,000. Colbert Bush is well funded. She's got $254,000. This is a special election that they're doing because the congressman left to become a senator uh, in South Carolina. And so they didn't have a lot of time to raise money. It's not a bad uh, amount to get for both sides. Now, uh, Mark Sanford's in a little bit of trouble here because the National uh, Republican Party is pulled out from the race after Mark Sanford was caught trespassing in his ex-wife's house. Oops. So that's the context for the debate that they just had. So in the debate, uh, everybody was wondering, well, is Colbert Bush going to go for the jugular? Is she going to mention the affair? Turns out the answer is, you betcha. When we talk about fiscal spending and we talk about protecting the taxpayers, it doesn't mean you take that money we saved and leave the country for a personal purpose. Yeah. Everybody needs a little. Uh, she, uh, she, uh, she went there, Governor Sanford. I couldn't hear what she said. Repeat <laughs> <laughs> uh, Repeat it. I didn't hear. I'm sorry. Fail. <laughs> Look, it was embarrassing enough already. I mean, she went off the top rope. She landed the elbow, and she's just looking at the crowd before she pins him, right? And he's like, "What? What happened? What?" Oh, damn, I didn't hear. Oh, geez, that looks even worse. <laughs> but he's, she's not the only one who hit him. The moderator, that's his job, to ask tough questions on both sides, wound up asking him, hey, wait a minute, remember you voted for Clinton's impeachment for having an affair? What do you think about that? And this answer is hilarious. When you were in Congress, right, you voted for the Defense of Marriage Act and to impeach President Clinton for an extramarital affair. Would you vote those ways again? Well, I, I, I would reverse the question to you, and I would say this. Do you think that President Clinton should be condemned for the rest of his life based on a mistake that he made in his life? <laughs> what? You can't do that. What is that? Okay, did you have sex with your mistress? I would reverse the question. Did you have sex with my mistress? <laughs> That makes no sense whatsoever. You're the one who voted for impeachment. So do you regret it? And remember what he said at the time. This is devastating. He said at the time, I think it would be much better for the country and for him personally to resign. And remember, by the way, Sanford did not resign as governor after his affair. And he continued to say, I think what he did in this matter was reprehensible. I feel very comfortable with my vote. Oh, but when the shoe was on the other foot, and when the shoe was in Argentina, all of a sudden he's like, oh, what are you going to condemn me for? I mean, I already apologized. What the? No, I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> At the time he had said Clinton lacked moral legitimacy. Well, I guess you've answered your own question. You apparently lack moral legitimacy, and hence you should not even be in the race. Man. He got body slammed. I, I, she, she heard him, dog. Don't ask him if he's all right. Uh, I believe that puts him away, but we'll see. Uh, it's a very conservative district, but he's in big, big trouble. And she's walking around the ring right now going. <laughs> and I like how tough she is, man. She went and got him. 
I also like that they did the debate in a time warp. Apparently it was conducted in the 1980s. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it's like the oldest tape in the history of the world? Well, we got more on this. She was asked about her pro-choice views, and she wasn't backing down on that either. Let's watch. Well, I want to be very clear, Mark. Nobody tells me what to do, <laughs> except the people of South Carolina's first district. And secondly, if you've been looking at the commercials and paying attention, I am a fiscally conservative, independent, tough businesswoman, okay? <laughs> and then if you also notice, one last point, um, I push back on the Obama budget. So let's talk about independent reaching across the aisles and being reasonable. Thank you. Damn, man, she's strong. Oh, shoot, I'm on the Colbert Bush uh, bandwagon myself. I mean, she used her pimp hand on that one. <laughs> she said, oh, no, no, go ahead, cheat on me, Mark. See how that would turn out. Go, go. Bam. <laughs> and then they say, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. You ask me if I'm strong? You ask me about my decision? You tell me what to do? That's an open-handed slap, boy. What are you gonna do? Okay, now look, I don't agree with all of her positions. She's uh, against unions. Uh, she believes in the, I mean, that's a general thing to say, but she believes in right to work laws, which are laws against unions. She says she's got uh, extreme troubles with Obamacare. Look, it is a very conservative district, and so uh, obviously her politics aren't gonna match up with uh, the most progressive person in Congress. Uh, but on the issue of telling the truth, well, it seems like she's telling the truth about her own positions. She's not so sure that Sanford's doing that. And she's got one last open-handed slap for him. You and I met on a number of occasions. You said you would support trade. You said you would support the dredging. You said you would support all the things that we needed. And in fact, you didn't tell the truth. You turned around and did the opposite. <laughs> Man, he's bleeding from the ear, let him go. Like, I'm starting to feel bad for him. I'm starting to say, hey man, like, just pin the motherfucker and let's get out of here. Like, we gotta go catch a dinner in a theater, man. You already, you got your boot all the way up his ass, you're up to your knee. Okay. Get him out, spit him out. Okay, so, God bless, man, it's refreshing to see a strong Democrat for a change.